In the sport of football, fumbles are going to take place. And what we're going to cover today is the technique of recovering a fumble. There's an actual technique to it where we can maximize the chances of us recovering the football as well as protecting it because in the sport of football, we get underneath the pile and all kinds of things happen. So we want to go ahead and cover exactly how we want our kids to recover the football. So Robert's going to start off first with the end product. When we fall on the football, we want to make sure as we engulf the ball with both hands, the first thing we don't want to do is we don't want to recover the football and then tip and then roll because this exposes the football to other players coming in and knocking it out of his grip. So we want to make sure we recover the football and that as we have both hands wrapped around the ball, we want to take the top leg as well and cover the elbows and any other spots and, and just make sure we, we pull both of our knees up and especially that top leg to cover everything over top of the football. Okay, so let's go ahead and get up off the ground. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put him in a ready position about two or three yards away from the coach. On the coach's command, we're gonna roll the ball out and he's gonna recover the football. He's gonna secure it with both hands against his body, pull his knees up over his, to his chest and throw the one leg over top to, to uh, secure the football. You ready? All right, Robert, here we go. Go. Secure it. Good. And that's the proper technique that we teach to recover fumbles.